So in this video, we um, talk about insights into current states or um, operationalizations of circular economy. At this slide, we see some examples of organizations which have already introduced um, circular economy approaches. For example, we have uh, Jared Street, which uh, is a subscription service for modular headphones. And those modular headphones have an extended lifetime because of easy order of module disassembly and reparation. So um, the company offers a recover and recycling of headphones at the end of their lifetime through a certain subscription model. And they have actually a reuse of 85% of their components. Further, we have the organization Biopack which is a compostable food service packing made from renewable plant-based materials. So they have implemented a th circular model through the collection and uh, well, through their composting service. We also see um, the example of Hilti here. So um, we also see that um, big companies have already started to implement circular economy. And Hilti on their website uh, also says, our first steps to improving our ecological footprint are placing focus on reducing carbon emissions and introducing the ideas of circular economy. So they also highlight the core ideas of circular economy as the bullets here um, state. So in order to implement um, the core rationale of circular economy on a global or um, national or international scale, we also need regulations. And the European Green Deal is a first step into this direction. So the European Green Deal is a set of policy initiatives presented from 2019 regarding the transformation of the European Union to a modern, resource efficient and competitive economy that first emits zero net greenhouse gases by 2050, that decouples its growth from resource use and third, leaves no one human or region behind. We also have a circular economy action plan on a European level. So this is one of the main building blocks for the European Green Deal. And this action plan has several parts, for example, to make sustainable products the norm, to ensure less waste, to focus on sectors using the most resources and where the potential for uh, circularity is high, and to empower um, consumers. So that's um, core cool rationales of the action plan. Now, after talking about the European level, let's talk about Germany and current actions in Germany. So in Germany, we have the Circular Economy Initiative, Germany. So this initiative was established in 2019 with funding from the Federal Ministry of Education and Research. Um, it includes for the moment more than 50 institutions from business, science and civil society. Further, um, it has developed a circular economy roadmap, which includes concrete recommendations for acting. And those um, roadmap includes circular business models and digital technologies as innovation drivers. It includes new value networks for attraction batteries and it includes new values networks for packing. And that was a good keyword. I just talked about digital technologies and uh, there is also this term digital circular economy. So um, based on the strong integration and connection in the value chain, digital technology can be seen as a kind of enabler or facilitator of circular economy. So I want to talk about this pyramid here. So digital technologies um, may be used, for example, for data collection. So data collection refers to the Internet of Things, to wireless sensor networks, uh, to, to controls or embedded systems. So to the act of collecting data on the status quo. We also have the data integration. So Data might be integrated or we might use big data for information 
and we also might analyze the data with artificial analysis or machine learning approaches in order to gain information on the level of circular economy, for example. So the digital technologies here are an enabler for the upscaling of the circular economy, because having more data and being able to read the data, we might um, derive knowledge from this data, which in turn helps us to know more about and upscale the circular economy. So well, last but not least, I brought two further examples that already use digital technologies for their achievement of circular economy or for the success of circular economy um, endeavors. So first of all, we have the startup impact vision and the startup uses machine learning approaches in order to um, best process avocados. So they use the technology in order to um, produce the avocados in a very energy and environmentally friendly way. And we also have the organization Suez who uses blockchain in order to better control uh, the quality of its agriculture and agricultural inputs in short.